going to be a quick project. Cut this paper down, don't need all this. It's a bit of old scrap plywood that is. Okay, just going to glue them in place. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate this. But anyway, I'll cut the rest of this out. Okay, so the brooch or pin, pet pin I think they call them, is done. So there's the the body and um, and that's the, the head and tail. Okay, and so um, this can only be used on like um, what, like knitwear, you know, knitting type of stuff like a knitted scarf or shawl or poncho. So, you know, the shawl comes through here, that kind of digs in and that becomes a, a small brooch. I've got something indoors, I can show it to you. Um, but this is just a bit of old scrap three mil ply. Um, I could probably, I've just given it a bit of a sand on the on the edges and stuff I could tidy that up but it was just a, a, a see how it worked out really um, I think these are great I see them on the net on the on the internet and I uh, just thought this is fantastic there's elephants there's giraffes hummingbirds um, turtles very simple way of making a small brooch so um, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a few more of these um, in resin, resin and wood. So uh, I'll um, I'll just go and get a, that bit of knitwear, and I can show you to you how it's um, how that's done. Okay, so there it is on the piece of knitwear. Um, like I say, this is a piece of old scrap plywood. Not the greatest thing to use because the edges, even though I sanded them a little bit, a little bit rough there, mind. Um, it does catch the fibres, the threads. So if that was, um, let's say, a piece of oak that was, you know, polished and um, sanded and polished, it would glide through this stuff, no problem. And same with resin as well. Okay, everybody, that was another quick project and I uh, hope you enjoyed it.